look at this. Now we got blue. Nice, rich looking blue color. Okay, I guess we're in the club now. Wow. Okay, that's that's cool. <laughs> please, please, no pictures. No pictures, please. <laughs> I'm kind of kind of feeling like Thanos right now, yeah? <laughs> Let me start this video. This video is sponsored by Cuts. Hey, what's good YouTube? Tristan here, back with another video. And today we're gonna be talking about the digital photo RGB light. And before we go any further, yes, they did send me this light, but I'm gonna be 100% honest in this video. They're watching it for the first time, just like you are, and they're not paying me to say all positive things about this light. Again, I'm gonna be as honest as I can about this product. So while I was waiting on this light to be shipped over to me, I took the opportunity and watched a lot of videos on it. Um, I saw a lot of positive reviews on it, but I did see some negative reviews on it. Uh, I've had this light for a little over a week now, so I think it gave me plenty of time to play around with it and form my own opinion on the light. Uh, but first, I do want to walk you through some of the features, and then after that, I'll give you my thoughts on it. Let's go ahead and talk about what this light comes with, starting with the carrying case. Um, it does come with a padded carrying case. Personally, I think there should be more padding in it, but that just means I'll have to be a little more careful when lugging it around. But you guys know how I feel about my carrying cases. I'm glad that it comes with one. It also comes with these two cable threads um, that you can use to thread through the hole at the end of the light so you can hang them up. And it also comes with these two clamps that easily wrap around the light and you can mount it to like a light stand or a tripod or whatever you mount your lights to. It also comes with a power cord and a DC adapter so you can plug it into the wall and charge it, which leads me to my next point that it is battery powered, which is great because it gives you more flexibility when it comes to setting up your light exactly how you want it and you're not restricted to the cord or a plug outlet. Now, of course, if you do run out of battery, you can still use the light by plugging it into the wall, but again, you'll be restricted to wherever a power outlet is, so hopefully you have your extension cords on you. Now for the fun stuff. This is an RGB light, so via the app, you can go through the entire color spectrum and choose pretty much any color you like, and you can adjust the saturation and brightness as well. If you're using it as a white light, you can adjust the Kelvin to match any other light that you're using on set. Outside of using the app, you can also adjust the power and the brightness with the two knobs on the end of the light. Now, we also have several different effects with this light. Um, I'm not gonna go through all of them, but I will say that I do wish it had TV mode. This was something that I really wanted to use last week when I was shooting my short film and the video game scene, but it is what it is. Now, a lot of people use these lights for music videos. Um, for example, YC Imaging. Check out his channel if you haven't already, but he uses these lights on a lot of his music videos. Personally, I don't shoot music videos, but I still find different uses for this light, including integrating it into my YouTube setup. Right now, I have it mounted to my boom arm off to the side, and I set it up to help separate myself from the background and serve as kind of a hair light. I will say that the light does spill a little bit into the background in this current setup, but it's not horrible, and I don't mind it too much. I'm sure I'll find more uses for it, uh, especially now that I'm getting more into shooting short films, but if it helps the scene look good, I'm probably gonna use it. And speaking of looking good, I do wanna thank the sponsor of this video, Cuts. I actually just got this long sleeve hooded tee in the mail today, and I love it. I love love my hoodies and the fact that this is super light means I can still wear it in the springtime, but it is starting to heat up out here, which is why I picked up this Cuts Polo, which is perfect attire for the office or a night out on the town, especially in this heat. Um, and again, this is nice and light as well. Um, I love the color and it goes perfect with these joggers. These black joggers are really comfortable. They're form fitting. I love the material. And if you can't tell, I'm trying to convert all my wardrobe to black. So I'll keep you guys updated on that. But yeah, man, make sure you click that link down in the description below and get 15% off your Cuts order with my discount code. And last but not least, Cuts is dropping their spring collection on March 15th and their festival collection on March 29th. So definitely stay tuned for that. So I'm not gonna lie, the app is trash. Um, it is functional, but it can be very confusing. For instance, when I click effects, it takes me to a different page with all the effects on it. But how do I get back? I did find that clicking white takes me back to the default page, but a simple back button would make it so much easier. I will say that the app is much better than navigating the menus on the bottom of the light. I honestly didn't feel the need to talk about the menu system in this video because personally, I'm never going to use it. It's not exactly the best. Now, for some weird reason, it takes this light forever to come on. I'm gonna hit the power button right now. 
takes about four seconds to power on, which is again, very, very weird. Um, I think if I'm gonna pay 300 bucks for a light, I'd expect it to come on as soon as I hit the power button. I don't know if I'm asking for too much, but again, very weird. Something that I do when I buy any kind of light is that I just shake it to make sure that everything is secure and that the light isn't loose in the housing. It's pretty weird, right? But how else am I supposed to find out? That being said, the light is pretty secure in the housing. Um, the knobs on the light itself don't feel flimsy or cheap. And I would say that the overall build quality of this light is pretty solid. One major design flaw is that the cable thread tends to rub against the knobs on the end of the light, which could potentially change your light settings if you're not too careful. So I would just be very mindful of that. I'm slightly disappointed in myself because I've gone this entire video without talking about how bright this light actually gets. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Um, I have it at 5% and I'm just gonna twist this knob. I'm sorry for blinding you, but that's what we're doing right now. It gets, it gets really, really bright. I'm blinding myself, so therefore I'm probably blinding you and I apologize about it, but this light does get really, really bright. So this is at 1%, hi. And this is at 100%. Again, this thing gets really, really bright. All right, so there's one thing that I left out in this video and it is the battery life of this light. So the entire time I was filming the talking head section of this video, I had the light on and I timed myself and it took me about 54 minutes to shoot the entire thing. Um, and the light was on the entire time and it still had full battery. So I'm not sure how long the battery will last on this light, but for about an hour to still have full battery, I think that's pretty good. Uh, that said, let's get back to the video. Now the million dollar question, would I recommend this light? Let me just say this, I'm not one to tell people out there what they should and shouldn't buy, but I will say if you can get past the minor negatives about this light for 300 bucks, 300 bucks for a two byte as compared to lights that are twice as expensive, I definitely think it's worth picking up. All right, y'all, that's it for this video. I appreciate all of you watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. My name is Tristan Irvin. I make videos weekly. I talk about camera gear. Um, I do the occasional tutorial and the occasional vlog. Also, drop a comment down below. I wanna know what you guys would use a two x four, or if you have one, what do you currently use it for? Last but not least, hit the bell notification so when I do upload, you all get notified. And until the next video, I'm out of here. Peace.